Can we please appreciate the fact that I'm finally wearing some makeup? Hello everybody, my name is Valentina and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a first time mom and I'm making motherhood and lifestyle content. If you enjoy this type of videos, please consider subscribing. But in today's video, I'm gonna tackle the zero to three months old essentials, at least what I think is the essentials. Let's start from the fact that babies in the first three months, they poop, they pee, they eat and they sleep. So whatever you purchase that doesn't concern those areas is already extra. First thing, a buggy. The original buggy I wanted to purchase was the Duna. The reason why is because I found it to be a very practical buggy because it's a car seat and a buggy at the same time and you can use it up to 13 kilos which is around when the baby is a year old. The reason why we didn't go with that one is because my husband is very tall and to be honest when he was pushing the Zuna it looked like he was pushing a toy buggy. He was firmly against it and what he wanted to purchase was a trio, like a travel system. What we went with was the Joye Versatrax travel system where you have the car seat, the bassinet and the pushchair. We've made a good use out of the bassinet and we're still using the car seat. The reason why I find the car seat more convenient to use even now because still the car seat is up to 13 kilos. First of all, you will need a car seat to bring your baby home, otherwise it will not let you bring the baby home. Second, when she's in the car seat, it's like she's getting hugged. When she was in the first month, I think, and she really needed to calm down because she was having a freak out moment, we were putting, it, putting her in the car seat for a little bit to calm her down and she was calming down straight away and she was having a good sleep. Right now it's just out of practicality because there's way more space at the bottom of the buggy when I'm using the car seat. So we did find the travel system the best option and we went with the Joya Versa Trucks because it was the least expensive one. We did see different ones. I didn't find major differences. Then so... you will need somewhere to put your baby to sleep. I do suggest whatever next to me crib you prefer to purchase. We did purchase the Kiko next to me. You have a whole side that slides down. So especially if you're breastfeeding is the most convenient crib you can find. I didn't breastfeed Grace, but for the night feedings especially, I found it the easiest because I didn't really need, after I warm up the milk, I didn't really need to move from my bed. I was just, you know, keeping the bottle on the side uh, for the morning to wash and then I was just putting her back in her bed and then I was going back to sleep myself. She loves it. It's You can use it, I think, up to six months or a certain amount of kilos. I don't remember how many kilos. Then a uh, bouncer. You will need your baby to sit somewhere. There's many other things things to do in the house as well so I needed somewhere where to put the baby and the bouncer turned out to be the best thing we got a very basic bouncer again it's from Joye and is like the most basic things but she loves it and like she has these like stars and the moon pending and uh, there's different melodies and there's vibration as well which she finds very soothing it just makes my life a lot easier because she's that kind of baby that she can just chill on her own but she needs to see that you're around her so um i just go around the house and i just carry the bouncer with me and she just sees that i'm there and in the meantime i can do my thing then bottles and a sterilizing kit we went with the tommy tp kit with the sterilizer the bottle warmer mix of bottles like smaller to 150 mils and the bigger ones to 240 mils there was also a pacifier in there and uh, the um, uh, holders when you have to bring the milk around so the water stays warm i thought like I was like, you know what, we'll do, we'll keep it very minimal. We don't need the sterilizer, we don't need the bottle warmer. But again, for practicality, especially for the night feedings, one night my husband accidentally left the warmer on and basically all the water evaporated and the motor broke. We've been without the bottle warmer for like two or three days. So you can live without the bottle warmer. In terms of practicality is 
a lot better to have it than not having it. It warms the milk a lot faster and if you have a baby like mine who doesn't know what patience is and when she's hungry she's hungry and she wants her milk and she wants it now that's the easier way to warm up your milk same thing with sterilizing the bottles you just wash them you chuck them in the in the sterilizer and it sterilizes everything most of the stuff that we did purchase for grace we got it from mamas and papas and mamas and papas has sales throughout the year i do suggest if you're like in the process of putting together the starter kit let's say for your baby to have a look on their website because every now and then they have like 50% off sales that's how we got our kit it was 50% off it was a very good value for money next um, the Frida baby flake fixer for cradle cap now this is not like an essential essential but I do suggest to get it because babies do get cradle cap and although it's not painful it does look painful it's just not a nice thing to look at bless them the flake fixer has a sponge and a silicone brush and then you have a silicone comb when you put your baby you give your baby a bath with the sponge you massage whichever shampoo you're using for your baby and then with the silicone sponge you massage again so very gently and so basically you lift all of the cradle cap or the dead skin because grace didn't really have cradle cap she had more she had a lot of dead skin which is normal because after uh, the baby is born changes basically sheds and changes the skin completely and i remember she did change she had a lot of dead skin on her hands as well the head was just something else this one it sort of helped to lift all of the dead skin and then I was combing her hair to get rid of all of the dead skin from the hair and then I was going with a baby oil uh, still from She's Frida baby the nose Frida does not suck her it's basically a little like sucking device that helps you keep your baby's nose clean baby's noses are so teeny tiny that the most little thing in their nose might be annoying for them they're not gonna like it at the beginning i've never seen a baby who likes to get stuff sucked out of their nose but she's grown into it and to be honest right now she doesn't really care she lets me clean her nose with no fast does not it's not gonna get in your mouth there's a filter and you have extra filters in the box as well and it's super easy to clean this is either if you're a mom who is putting together the first little clothes for the baby or if you're a friend who is about to go to a baby shower and you don't know what to get to the mom go with zipper onesies i tried the bottom ones and i tried the zipper ones and i'm telling you the zipper ones are a complete different game so much easier especially for those night changes where you don't you don't want to stay there and check which buttons goes where the ones that i'm using for grace i got them from amazon and the brand is called joy by carter we sell them in packs of three or two great cotton i wash them over and over and over again they still look brand new and your baby is gonna leave in onesies so it's nice to have like a cutesy outfit that you're gonna take a picture with but then your baby's gonna live in onesies the key word when you have a baby is practical sleeping uh, bag well they do suggest to put babies in sleeping bags to prevent uh, seeds also babies have these reflexes it's normal the sleeping bag we went with was the love to dream sleeping bag it's made out of bamboo and the great thing about this sleeping bag it has is that it has the double zipper you can unzip it from the top or from the bottom again great for night changes and it's super soft i do suggest to get a couple just because you know there might be like a poopy accident and you don't want to leave your baby in a dirty sleeping bag then a bath seat the one that we got is the angel care bath seat is like a booster seat but for the bath it just gives you that peace of mind as well that your baby's safe in that seat and you don't have to hold your baby and you risk that your baby sleeps away and is very easy to clean and is what we're still using now endless muslim cloths i got a pack of muslin cloths off of amazon but i can't remember the brand i can't remember i have to look on my amazon and if i find them i'm gonna link them down below they are 
this very thick cotton because uh, she does spill quite a bit when she drinks her milk. Uh, she always did so in order to avoid getting her all irritated on her neck I put the bib and this cloth and like that I'm sure that she's gonna be nice and protected you can use them when you're burping the baby it's always nice to have <laughs> your clothes a little protected as well then the poppy pillow my intention when I purchased the poppy pillow is that I was going to breastfeed I wasn't able to breastfeed Grace but still I I got I think the best usage out of the boppy pillow because you can use it in many different ways you can use it just to make your baby rest i put it on the sofa when i'm doing something i just put her there with me so she can see me she can see that i'm there right now as well she's not just laying down not that she's sitting it's just a little bit of extra protection you're supposed to do tummy time straight away with the baby even just like a minute with the boppy i was just putting the pop the boppy under her chest so she was well supported she was not arching in a weird way she was just staying on her tummy way longer she could see us because her head was lifted as well and also i do still use it when i'm feeding her it keeps the baby lifted i remember the first couple of weeks i didn't use the pillow when i was uh, feeding grace and i had the worst back pain of my life i started using the pillow and that pain just went away so i do suggest even if you're bottle feeding use the pillow a sort of organizer that is a nappy caddy or any other way that you want to organize your baby's nappies and whatever like whatever else you're gonna need on a day-to-day -day basis where we were before i didn't have a changing table for her so i got this organizer that you hang to a door i have a whole row of nappies and you know all of her creams and muslin cloths and uh, stuff that i do use on a day-to-day -day basis then pacifiers the first midwives that we met ate our faces off because we got into the room and grace had a dummy in her mouth they were like oh you don't use a dummy because you're gonna lose the hunger cues and you're not gonna know when your baby is hungry or she's just uh, cranky and i was like they terrified me so i just stopped using the dummies all together i ended up having a very cranky baby in my hands you will know when your baby's crying because it's cranky or she's crying because she's hungry or is crying because they need a nappy change or whatever they're crying for i do suggest that you have at least one dummy because that made such a difference i got the mom dummies they're very inexpensive and she seems to like them it made such a difference because it's the sucking from the dummy is self-soothing so when it was time to put her down and having the dummy made the biggest biggest difference even now like when she's getting a little bit more nervous maybe it's getting close to her nap time or it's getting close to having to be fed and she does get a little annoyed you know but it's not time yet so she just gets her dummy she relaxes she's she keeps playing and it's just like it makes it makes such a difference the mom dummies they come in these boxes where after you sterilize them they stay sterilized up to 48 hours a white so. noise machine i know there is the hatch sound machine that everyone is raving about i think for what it is is quite expensive i prefer the portable sound machine because the sounds is a little you can decide the volume of the sound and the sound goes a little bit higher sometimes she just does need that like a little bit of a louder white noise to zone out and fall asleep i like to leave it on the whole night just because i feel like it sort of isolates from all the noises around and you know yogi wakes up early sometimes and in our building there's a lot of kids it can get very loud sometimes it just helps her to keep sleeping i know it sounds like a lot you can 
keep going and going and going with baby stuff baby stuff is so expensive yes babies can be expensive but it's also true that they can get as expensive as you want them to get if you're a mom-to-be so. and you're looking for inspirations to put together your baby's starter kit congratulations if you already had your baby and you feel like there's other must-haves please leave them in the comments down below this is it for today's video guys don't forget to like it subscribe to the channel and don't forget to go and follow me on instagram and facebook i will leave the links down below have an amazing day and i will see you again soon Mwah. bye